What do we have to eat? Whole grains, legumes, lentils, vegetables, and fruit. You've all familiar and heard about this. No oil, fish, fowl, meat, or dairy. No oil. No oil. <laughs> Let's just take a moment here because some people still are not clear about the fact no oil. <laughs> why? Why? Because the data. Olive oil is terribly seductive. Scott Gundred Grundy did some studies that are very short term that showed that it increases your good cholesterol, lowers your bad cholesterol, improves your ratio. It got a huge amount of press. Doctors heard about it, and therefore it must be wonderful, right? Wrong. Because you look at longer term studies, Blankenhorn, right in the California. Two groups of patients, one saturated fat, the other monounsaturated like olive oil. The baseline angiogram at the end of the year, the angiogram disease of coronary disease had progressed just as much in each group. <clears throat> Lawrence Rudell and the research triangle took the African green monkey, some similar lipid metabolism to man, saturated, unsaturated, five years. In the monounsaturated olive oil group, higher HDL, lower LDL, better ratio, autopsy, just as much coronary disease. The oil companies didn't like that, so Lawrence Riddell repeated the study with rodents, and the result, the same. Dr. Vogel has gone on and shown us indeed that olive oil activates clotting factor seven just as much as butter. And Vogel, in a separate study, and Ong, in a separate study, have shown how it impairs flow-mediated dilatation that I just talked to you about, the brachialar tourniquet test. And last month, in the journal, uh, the journal of the, of, the, of the National Cancer Institute, uh, olive oil, along with meat and dairy, is implicated in uh, a risk factor for uh, breast cancer. Well, that wasn't quite enough because I do get the Harvard Heart Letter. And I have great respect for Thomas Lee, who's the editor. But one of those heart letters said, for heart patients, be sure you use the heart healthy oils. <coughs> Canola oil, olive oil. So I wrote to Dr. Lee. I said, dear, dear Dr. Lee, I have, have always had the highest regard for your Harvard Heart uh, letter, but I was puzzled and skeptical by your recommendation for oils for patients with heart disease. And I enclose for your review uh, these six articles and references that I'm aware of that <clears throat> suggest that this is not a good idea, and I also enclosed for you a copy of my study. And six months later, <clears throat> I got a letter back from Dr. Lee. Dear Dr. Esselstyn, thank you for your reprints and your study. Uh, I would agree with you that as we move forward in this most complex of diseases, that we should remain flexible. <laughs> no oil. 